Hello and welcome to today's webinar to learn all about Accounts in Partner Edition. My name is Eliana and I will be taking you through the session today. Let's have a look at the agenda we have for today. So in today's agenda, we'll be going through the objectives, the key features of Partner Edition and also a live demonstration of them. I will show you how to use the VAT Center how to control user access and show you what we have to offer here at Sage in order to help you choose the best option for you and also for your practice. By the end of this webinar, you'll be able to understand how to navigate through the Account and Partner Edition, accessing different subscribed services, understand how to use the VAT Center, and finally be able to add colleagues as additional users and create different access levels for them. Now let's take a look at the key features in Accounts and Partner Edition. So first of all, you can onboard your client base with is, as you can upload 500 clients in one go. You can work with your colleagues as well. So with the multi-user capability, you can invite them into the Partner Edition and give them bespoke access rights. If you also wanted to collaborate with your clients, you're more than welcome to invite them into their payroll and also accounts. As you can see on the right hand side, we offer accounting start and accounting packages. We also offer Sage Business Cloud payroll and compliance online. So as you can see, Partner Edition covers the end to end process for you and is a full suite product. Here you can see an overview of the areas we're going to cover shortly. So we're going to start by getting familiar navigating in Partner Edition. Then I will take you through the settings area and explain them, how to set things up, how to set up users, set up clients and how to access them. And finally, I will show you how to link to existing clients. So clients that already had a subscription with Sage and they want you to look after their accounts. Now I will start sharing my screen with you and go through the key features in Partner Edition. So first things first, if you haven't got an active partner edition registration, it is really simple to get this set up. All you need to do is go to accountants.sage1.com forward slash sign underscore up and follow the steps or speak to your practice access manager for some guidance and help on to getting this set up. Then what you need to do is go to sage.com and under login click Sage Business Cloud Accounting Partner Edition. It will then take you onto the login page where you simply enter your email address and password. And all you need to do is log in. And then you'll be greeted by this screen here, which is your essential client list where all your potential clients will live. So you can see I've got all these uh, tabs here. So under client, you're going to see the name of your client under business owner. You'd be able to see the main email address that you're going to assign um, against each one of those clients. So, so that could be the director's email address, assign users. This is any of your colleagues that you want them to have access into these clients, but I will come back to this for a little bit more detail. And under subscribe services, you can see what each client is subscribed to. As I mentioned, it's an end to end solution. So it covers the accounting package and also payroll and compliance online. And finally, you'll be able to see whether your clients are VAT authorized or not. And it will show a tick next to their names if they were. Let's now explore the settings of Partner Edition. All you need to do is hover over your practices name and then click manage business account. And here we have the settings overview. First things first, user settings. This is where you are only able to amend the name and the password of your practice. If you want to amend the email address, you simply need to speak with the admin team and they'll be able to rectify that for you. Back to my settings, business settings. This is where you can update the company's address and also the company uh, number from. Then auto entry settings. From here, you can integrate accounting partner edition with auto entry. You can simply take time back by eliminating manual data entry of your client's invoices, receipts, bills, and also statements. You can simply email, scan, and also upload those documents into auto entry 
or you can invite your client to snap pictures with the auto entry mobile application and everything will be posted in accounting. If you want to know a little bit more about auto entry and the integration, again, please speak to your practice success manager and they'll be able to guide you through. Then billing settings. Under billing contact, you're able to review your billing contact information. Under the direct debit tab, you can add your direct debit or you can also amend it at any point if you had to. And finally, under invoices, you're able to see all the invoices that have been issued to you so far by Sage. And let's go back to the settings to explore user management. From here, you can invite users, so that could be any of your colleagues, into the portal. All you need to do is click user, invite user, populate their email address in there. So if I was to invite Ian and send, that generated an email that's on the way to Ian. So until Ian activates his login, I can click anywhere on that line and give them bespoke access. I can give him manager's access where he can manage users and their client access rights as well. Advanced, he'd be able to access to client data and compliance services. Standard, access to basic client information and you can see exactly what they can and cannot view from this list. I can customize the access rights and also if Ian left the practice, I can give him no access and he won't be able to view any of the data anymore. User activity log. From here, you can track user activity using this activity log. This option is only available to the owner of partner edition, so the main email address that we're logging in with, and any manager users. You can see which colleague gone into which client. And by clicking client list, I'm gonna go back to my partner edition portal. Let's now go back to the Assign Users tab and have a look on how to assign users into different clients. So for example, if I only wanted Ian to be able to see Cards & Co, all I need to do is click onto this pencil. I can see who's assigned to Cards & Co and who is not assigned. And simply I can click plus and now Ian, when he logs in, he'll be able to only see Card & Co. So probably you realize there is an add new client button here. So partner edition is a self-serve program. So you can add new clients. If I hover over the arrow, I can import my clients. As mentioned before, I can import up to 500 clients in one go. And also I can migrate a client from any competitors or the Sage 50 line. Let's have a look at how to add a new client manually by clicking add. And you have two options here. So this could be a business client. These are clients that you'll need access to accounting and payroll essentials for. Also be able to access final accounts, corporation tax, and of course the VAT center. And secondly, an individual client where you only be able to access your personal tax online and of course the VAT center as well. All you need to do is fill in all the information with an asterisk but the more information you fill in, the better the experience. If I was to multiple import my clients, all I need to do is click multiple client import. Then anytime we ask you to import anything, we always include the relevant CSV template, which will have all the headings that you need to fill in already populated in there. Enter your customer record, save it, and then simply upload my CSV. And finally, if I was to migrate a client. So if you did have any clients in Sage 50 that are suitable to move over to the cloud, we do have a migration tool available. It's a free of charge tool that you will need to download. And then it's a nine stage wizard that you can extract whatever information you want out of those businesses you want to be migrating. You'll be extracting this into a JSON file on your desktop. Once you have this file, you can simply click onto the arrow and choose migrate a client just the way I did, and then upload the file. Once you do that, the client will appear under the pending tab here. And once the process completed, this will move into the active tab and you can access them straight away. 
Also, if you're moving over clients from any competitors such as Xero or QuickBooks, we work with Move My Books that they will extract the information for you and provide you with the relevant JSON file. And the process of uploading is exactly the same. Just to make you aware, it's always best to check with your practice success manager for any latest offers, as if you did create clients on your own, it will default to the full price. And we really don't want you to miss on any available offers. So please speak to them first and the admin team are going to be able to onboard and add those clients in there for you. Also, if you wanted to know a little bit more about the migration process, I will be sharing some links uh, later on to the webinars that we offer as well. Now, in terms of accessing a client, as soon as we create them, we can either access them by clicking accounting or payroll, or you can click anywhere on that line. And this panel will open on the right hand side, where you can also access final accounts, corporation tags, auto entry, a VAT center, accounting plus and payroll 10. And if I was to do that, I will click on to accessing accounting plus. And now to toggle between all the connected applications. So for example, if I wanted to access payroll now, I can click onto this little waffle and payroll 10. And I'm now in the payroll. Now, if you had a client that had their own Sage accounting subscription previously, you can get them to invite you in order to appear on your client list. So you have all your clients appearing in one place. What I will do now, I will come out as being um, an accountant and I will log in as a client. You can now see the difference when you log in as a client, you won't be able to see any other clients. You're only going to be able to see your own data. Now, what you can advise them is to hover over their business name and open their manage business account option. On the left hand side, advise them to click invite accountant and provide them with the email address that you use to create your partner edition. And send an invite. I will now log in as the accountant, just so you see the whole process. What it will happen then, the invitation will appear under the pending tab. And all you need to do is click accept or reject, confirm, and that client will automatically move into your active tab and you can start accessing them straight away. Now that was a live demonstration of the key features of Partner Edition. What I will do now, I will go back into my presentation and go into the VAT center in more detail. So I will take you through how to authenticate your practice, confirm your VAT registration details, how to use the VAT center and also control user access. The first thing you'll need to do in order to use the VAT center, of course, is have access to the account and partner edition. Once a partner edition has been created, you'll have the ability to access real time client information on the go from any location on any device, as long as you have an internet connection. At this point, I want just to make you aware that the VAT center is only applicable for UK VAT registered businesses. To access the VAT center for just click anywhere on the client's business details. This will bring then the panel that we saw previously showing the services that the client is subscribed to, as well as the VAT center. If any of your clients aren't using a Sage Business Cloud license, don't worry about it. That doesn't mean that you won't be able to use the VAT center. You will be able to create a brand new client through your partner edition. When you create the client, make sure you click business client which will then give you access to the VAT center for that client and enter all information with an asterisk. What we have produced here at Sage in the VAT center is a solution that gives you the ability to view everything about a client's VAT account in a single place, regardless the software solution that they're using. This information was removed from your agent view on the HMRC website. However, we have resurfaced this for you. Let's see how to authenticate your practice. So the first time you access the VAT center, you'll be prompt to authenticate your practice software, which is partner edition in this case with HMRC. 
clicking on authenticate will direct you to HMRC's website to start the journey. This creates a secure connection with HMRC and grants authority to Sage to access data via the APIs. You will need to be signed up to MTD, Making Tax Digital, and need your agent services account login details to create the connection. By connecting your partner edition, you won't need to log into your agent services account every time you want to use the VAT center. Just to make everybody aware, the authentication can be revoked at any point. And to do this, you'll need to go to the manage business account settings. Once we have clicked to authenticate the practice, we are directed to the authority to interact with HMRC on your behalf page of the website. What this page is telling us is that Sage needs permission to interact with HMRC on your behalf. It'll need to follow the four following steps. If you're an agent to use the Making Tax Digital APIs, just sign in with the user ID and password of your agent services account. As we can now see, this is the next page you'll be directed to, and all you need to do is send your agent services credentials. You won't have to do this process every time you use the VAT center. Once this is done, the authority will last for the next 18 months. Confirming VAT registration details. Now, once the practice is connected to HMRC, you can progress through the VAT center. To enter the VAT center, go back to your partner edition, click onto the relevant client line, then open the VAT center from where you need to enter the VAT registration number for your client. This will then trigger a series of checks and validations. The first check is Sage will validate the VAT registration number with HMRC to make sure that it's a valid number and retrieve the business details associated with the VAT registration number so that you can rest assured that you've entered the right number for the right client. The second check is we will check that you're authorized as an agent to view information relating to the VAT registration number. If you aren't authorized, we will provide you the relevant information on how to get this. And finally, we'll check whether the business associated with the VAT registration number is signed up to MTD. If we cannot retrieve the business information in step one, you can still continue through to the VAT center. However, if the checks fail in step two and three, you won't be able to proceed any further. Let's see how to use the VAT center. Once the validation checks have been done and we enter the VAT center, we are greeted with a welcome screen explaining that in the move to MTD, HMRC removed the option to view your client's VAT information from their website. But with the Sage VAT Center, we can continue to see this VAT information for your UK making tax digital clients. You will also be able to see what updates will be coming soon in the VAT Center, like being able to manage your client's VAT authorizations from the partner edition client list. Now, if you don't want to see this window where you're entering the VAT center, you can just simply tick the box on the left hand side. Now, let's take a look at the information that's available to you once you've entered the VAT center. You'll be able to see information about your client's VAT account that is no longer available to the agent through the agent services account. Sage pulls this information from HMRC, so you'll be able to see this information for all your MTD VAT registered clients and this is completely irrespective of the software they use to file their returns. In addition to seeing historic VAT submissions data, including a view of the nine boxes, you can also see which VAT filing periods are open. For example, the return is due to be filed. You'll also have the facility to view outstanding VAT liabilities and see the status of payments and refunds. What are we going to do next is go through how to add a colleague if you wanted some assistance with a client. So in the past, accountants have created multiple government getaways ID in order to control which user in their practice have access to certain client information. In the new agent services account, accountants can only have a single account, so they were not able to control which users have access to the client's data. With the VAT Center, Sage are making your life easier, giving you control of your practice. You'll be able to create additional users within the Partner Edition to assist you purely with making tax digital. 
you'll also be able to create a defined role for each user and this could be just access to the VAT center or access to other software services that the client is subscribed to as well. So as seen previously, the first thing you need to do is hover your cursor over the account holder name in the top right hand corner. And this will open a small window and you just need to click on manage business account. We now have a summary page showing the settings overview and from there go straight to user management. Now we just need to invite our additional user or if you want multiple users, you can just repeat this process. To invite a user, just simply enter an email address in the space and click send. Once the invitation has been sent, the user will then be prompted to create their own password for future login. Now that the invitation has been sent, we can now see the additional user is awaiting user activation. This just means that they yet to create their login details. While it is waiting user activation, you have the ability to set a defined role for this user. Let's now have a look at the defined users uh, settings. So on the right hand side window, we have various different access levels. This puts you in full control of what the user will be able to do and see. The advanced setting will give access to client data and also compliance services and finally the VAT sensor. We've introduced new tiers in Sage Business Cloud as we're aware that not every single client will require to use all of the functionalities within accounting. So as you can see here, we've broken it down into three main tiers. Firstly, we have the accounting star package which is an entry-level accounting software, which is really ideal for sole traders and micro businesses. Then we have the accounting standard package, which is a powerful cloud accounting solution with invoicing and cash flow management. It also allows full collaboration between you and your clients. And finally, we have accounting plus, which is more enhanced. A target small businesses who require foreign currencies and also to manage stock. It allows full collaboration and unlimited users. Let's break them down a little bit more onto the next slide. So we wanted to use this opportunity to unveil Sage Business Cloud Accounting and showcase the power of the solution and educate you on the investment that has been made in the core product. So under Stop Package, you can create and send invoices track what you're owed. You can automatically reconcile your bank, calculate and submit VA team. It supports only one user and there is no purchase ledger, it's just the sales ledger. Then from accountant standard, you can create and send invoices. You can track what you're owed. Again, you can automatically reconcile your bank, calculate and submit fat returns, now it supports unlimited users. You can also run advanced reports, send quotes and estimates. You can forecast the cash flow, manage purchase invoices, and it fully integrates with auto entry. Then we have the accountant plus, which you can do all of the above I just mentioned with the main differences being uh, it can support multiple currencies. So you can create um, quotes, estimates and invoices in foreign currencies and you can keep track of the stock so you can manage the inventory from there. Again, if you wanted to know more about the current offers, please speak to the practice success managers and they'll be able to give you all of that information. Now to summarize what we covered today, I'm hoping everybody will be comfortable understanding how to navigate through the Accounting Partner Edition, accessing the different subscribe services. You know now how to use the VAT Center. And also you can add colleagues as additional users and create access levels for them. And just so we can quickly recap, you can get your clients online with Accounting Start, Accounting or Sage Business Cloud Payroll one at a time or in batches using the import tool. You can also connect to their data in real time from anywhere you are. Compliance online, you can produce accounts and tax returns using our connected applications, which are Sage Final Accounts online, Sage Corporation Tax online, and Sage Personal Tax online, and work with your colleagues with the multi-user capability and the role-based access right. On this slide, you can view information on how we can assist you further. 
We have a whole range of support available to you. Speak to your practice success manager if you need information about the pricing and also they are your main points of contact. You can visit our webinar hub to learn more about the webinars we host and register. As I mentioned earlier, we host a migration uh, webinar, so you can check this out as well and all the available dates. If you have any technical issues, our 24-7 award-winning support team will be able to assist you. If you haven't done that already, visit Sage University website and create an account to gain access to a variety of training courses and obtain a certification upon completion. All Sage Business Cloud courses are free of charge and recently updated, so check them out and enjoy the journey. Finally, if you have any further questions regarding training and also webinars, please email the education team at accountant.education.sage.com. That brings us to the end of our session on Accounting Partner Edition today. All that's there for me to say is thank you very much for joining us. Take care and stay safe.